Hello Taurus and welcome to your December 2023 singles love reading. Taurus, this is a general reading. It will not resonate with all of you. Please take what resonates, leave the rest. Feel free to check your other sign placements to see if there's any more clarity or guidance in those readings for you. Taurus, we start out with reciprocity and interference. Oh, interesting. Hmm. It's almost like signals are getting crossed. Uh, maybe what you are wanting isn't being heard or being um, understood the way you need it need it to be understood. I almost feel like you're going backwards. Reciprocity, give and take, right? Give and take, and then interference. Something's something's going on that maybe you aren't again being heard. Or being heard the way you need to be heard. Right in the middle we have the five of cups. Hmm. Page of coins. Six of wands. Queen of wands. Chariot. A lot of movement here. A lot of movement. Four of clubs. We have nine of pentacles. The moon. Whoa. And wow, we have the lovers in reverse. <laughs> There's not reverse cards in this deck and it came out reversed. So we will take it because that's the way it presented itself. All right. And we have the two of cups. Bottom of the deck. Energy. Very interesting. All right, we start out with the page of coins. We have the six of clubs and we have the queen of wands or queen of clubs. Queen of wands, six of wands, page of coins. New message coming in. A message from somebody um, that has to do with maybe finances, that has to do with your job. You could be hearing from somebody at work that you work with that possibly has interest in you. I feel with this reciprocity and interference, this could be a past relationship, Taurus, where maybe you weren't being heard in a past relationship, you weren't being seen in a past relationship. You have a message coming in from somebody that, again, possibly you work with, that is going to move you forward with the Six of Wands. There's movement forward. It's getting out of a... Getting out of a sluggish part of you, a relationship, getting out of a, could be drama filled, rough waters into smoother waters. Can be leading you to the Queen of Wands. Aries Leo Sagittarius. Queen King, it is the fire energy, passion, desire. Could be somebody that is um, somebody that you collaborate with on a project, possibly. There's a lot of creativity with this queen. There's a lot of leadership with this queen. There's a lot of uh, energy with this queen. And he, she could have heard about you from somebody. There could be some messages being exchanged here. You could be talking maybe even. You have the chariot. Again, a card of movement. The five of, pen, uh, five of cups. And then the four of wands. Chariot is a card of cancer, card of movement, card of being in charge of your life, being in charge of the reins, being in charge of where you're going, Taurus. You're in charge. You. You have the reins. You're steering this. Not quite sure what they are, but you're steering them. You can tell me what they are. They look like lions, maybe? I don't know. But you're in charge. And not only that, I feel like you are exploring or you are figuring out or you are trying to see which is the best course of action for you, which is the best way for you to go. Right in the middle, we have the Five of Cups. This is central to the reading. Five of Cups talks about 
kind of cutting your losses. It talks about getting over a hurt or reconciling through a hurt. Knowing that three of the cups are turned over, there's still two left. There's still two left, and this card reiterates that. There's still two cups left. The past hurt your feelings. I feel like a past could have been emotional for you, Taurus. There's an understanding with that card. There's an understanding, and there's a um, almost like a self-love that is going to emanate from that card that is going to bring you into a more secure and stable energy than you were maybe in a past energy or maybe you know th these two cards too can be related to if there's a new relationship here starting that wires could get crossed there could be some type of interference some type of misunderstanding even But I feel like what's important for you is a give and take. What's important for you is a reciprocity. And with the Five of Cups, there's hurt feelings. There's hurt emotions. And there's also a knowledge that you'll be okay. There's love out there. There's somebody out there for you. There is always hope. Which can be the message you hear about this this queen of wands again could be career career based career oriented person could be somebody at your work then we have the bottom row which is the 9 of pentacles the moon and the lovers the 9 of pentacles starts out with all your gains, all your all your, all your gains that you have in life. It's almost like when you go through a rough patch, Taurus, think about but look at where I've come from. Look at how far I've come. Look at everything I've done. Look at where I'm at. This is kind of pat yourself on the back card. This is kind of like maybe take a little bit of your money and and treat yourself to something that you've been wanting. You could be working a lot and it's time to treat yourself to something you've been wanting. The moon is stabilization. The moon is feelings and emotions. The moon is something hidden being revealed. It could come out of this five of cups where you have the three cups that are turned upside down. The three cups that hurt. Two upright. You could learn something about a situation. The moon's also a card to pay attention to your dreams. It's also a card to kind of get back, get in touch with the, a wild side of yourself. Or not wild, like go party, but a wilder side. Like, um, I mean, to me, it's like go out in nature. Or go and, you know, maybe take an Alaskan cruise. Or do something that's nature-driven is what I feel when I say wild side. We also have the moon energy now. We have a new moon in Sagittarius on December the 12th. And we have a full moon in Cancer on the 26th. So right after, if you celebrate Christmas, right after then. The new moon in Sagittarius is a, is a moon of luck being on your side. So it may not feel like it with the Five of Cups, but luck is on your side. It's almost like the Wheel of Fortune here with this... Um, New Moon and Sagittarius. You can do more research on it yourself if you want to. But New Moon and Sagittarius is basically telling you to go out and have some fun. Be happy again. Smile. You know, have fun after having a low period in your life with the Five of Cups. Whatever happened to hurt your feelings. Have some fun. Go out and have some fun. Remember what that's like. You can be adventurous. You know, you can take risks, just don't be too risky. That, that's what I said with this. You know, be, get in touch with your wild side, but not too wild. Also, the new moon of Sagittarius is reminding you that any past hurts, any past hurt feelings even, 
remember that there's growth, there's learning from those experiences. And it can be a gift in, in some sort of a way, even though it might not feel like it at the time. And it can even help you, you know, widen your worldview. That's on the 12th. The 26th we have in Cancer. Cancer new moon energy, or full, I'm sorry, full moon energy. You can get, it. it's a personal issue reaches resolution. So you can get some resolve from a personal issue. Um, Cancer full moon is very feminine energy. Uh, any challenges that you're facing can be coming to an end, possibly. You can be overcoming insecurities, your own insecurities. Uh, the moon rules cancer. So uh, this is, you know, we have a cancer here. So there could be some cancer association with you, Taurus. The chariot's a card of cancer. The moon ru rules cancer. Uh, what... This moon really is saying is that all is as it should be. Or if it's not, don't worry. All will soon be as it should be. Or all will soon be well. You have the levers in reverse. This is just saying that you may not be ready for a committed relationship right now. You may not be ready to take that leap. I feel like with these two eyes here, there's still something you need to see or there's still something you need to learn. And it can be with this moon card. Something will be revealed to you. The path will be shown. The path will be open. You may not be ready yet. Again, months, right? You do have the two of cups. You do want some type of relationship. You do want some type of like-minded people coming together. You do want some type of understanding and love in your life. I think that is what you're working for. You want that reciprocity. This was in reverse. That's why the levers. If it was upright, I'd say, you know, absolutely. I might even pull another card on it. But since it's reverse, it's, it's, something's not ready for you to, to start a new relationship or start, um, Maybe a committed, long-term committed relationship. This person could be a friend. This person could be great to go out with even. Do not necessarily have to be in a love relationship with this person. But you are moving yourself forward. You are working on yourself to get out of that slump, to get out of that low spot, to get out of that. The full moon in Cancer, your challenges are coming to an end. Not saying you won't ever have another challenge. But whatever you're facing now, whatever that five of cups, whatever that three cups turned over is making you feel is coming to an end. Look at that. Healing chaos. What did I just say? It's coming to an end. Healing chaos. It is perfect to go with the six of swords energy. Moving out of drama. Moving out of conflict. Moving out of really, really rough waters. Moving into calmer stiller waters healing chaos look at all those butterflies look at all those butterflies can you see them swirling around the tornado when you receive this card it acknowledges potential chaos or the need for chaos as an activator for for profound healing i think that's what happened with the six of the six of wands is you know that movement and overcoming obstacles and ha celebrating yourself, having victory over something in the past that has held you back. If your life seems chaotic, know that it has an underlying energy of healing. You are being healed on all levels. You are a healer. Alternatively, if your life is calm to the point of being stagnant, this card suggests that it might be time to create a bit of chaos in your life. It will activate healing, do the unexpected, mix life up a bit. And I think that's what I said with the new moon in December, right? You can be adventurous and take a risk, but not too adventurous and not too risky. Mix things up a bit, shake things up a bit. I think it's going to help you get back into your own. Again, you're in the driver's seat. You're in charge of which way this is going. You're in charge of how you want this to, to go. 
And again, ultimately, I think it's the Two of Cups. It is the happily, not really happily ever after card, but finding some like-minded person to love, to share love with. Whatever wires kept getting crossed with the reciprocity and interference. Figuring that out, taking care of that, and moving yourself forward. All right, Taurus. Thank you so much for watching. I don't know if I mentioned Lovers is a card of Gemini. To me, the moon's a card of Pisces. So, all right, guys. Take care of yourselves and each other. Stay safe. Be blessed. Watch your emotions. Try to, I don't want to say keep them in check, but pay attention to your emotions. Because Cancer Full Moon in December 26 can be very emotional. It can bring us very, a lot of emotions. So, again, take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Be blessed. Know I put readings out mid-month every month for health, career, finance, and love. If you're interested, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. That way you won't miss any readings I do. And um, you've got something yet to see or learn before you can go full-fledged into a relationship is what I feel. All right, Taurus. Thank you. And I will see you next year, 2024. Let me know if you are interested in like a... Um, a year ahead reading, if you want something like that, uh, we can work on that. All right, guys, take care, stay safe, be blessed. Bye for now.